Scientists may have solved an age-old mystery. A new theory explains why these famous statues on Easter Island exist. And also, making news in the world of science, the man nicknamed the Planet Slayer may have discovered a new one. Here with these stories and more, I'm joined by scientist Merritt Turetsky. Merritt, thank you for being here. Okay, crack the case for us. Explain why these might be here. So there are hundreds of these statues dotting Nap Rapa Nui, or Easter Island, but up until now, we really have not understood what they signify. Some thought perhaps they were marking settlements or helping travelers navigate the sea. So a new study shows us that we can predict the location of these statues based on distance to fresh water. So these statues are actually giant divining rods. So, you know, water's really scarce on the island, so yeah. this could have been community's way of marking ownership over fresh water. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, I, listen, in five years from now, there will be a whole new theory for us to explore Maybe, as well. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this next story is about the guy, the scientist formerly known as the Planet Slayer, and he's yes. got a big discovery. So Michael Brown is the astronomer known for stripping Pluto of its planethood because of its small size. And he's just made a remarkable new discovery. Uh, so he's claiming that there is a new planet lurking in our very own solar system. So planet X is about the same size as Neptune, but it's got this massive distance around this big orbit around the sun. So if we were to revise one of those toy models of uh -huh. the solar system that children play with, we'd first need to get rid of Pluto. Okay. And then we would need to add planet X in at the equivalent of a half a kilometer away from our toy sun, which would make for a pretty awkward model. But it's because of this great distance that we cannot observe Planet X directly okay. yet. So we're using the clustering or the location of other objects in space. Scientists know from this that there must be something really large moving around the sun. So the hunt is on to try to observe this planet directly. But at some point it comes around the other side of the sun, right? Every 14,000 years. 14,000 years. Yeah. Yeah, so this blows our estimate of the solar system, the size of our solar system. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, well, I'm not going to hold my breath to catch that <laughs> one uh, any time in the night sky. Uh, um, now, you also have another study to tell us about, and it reveals the importance of biodiversity. That's right. Through termites. That's right. So, you know, I think a lot of people know that we're experiencing rapid species extinctions. Yeah. But I think a lot of people don't know why we care about biodiversity in the first place. For example, a new study documented a 60% decline in tropical insect biomass in just the last 30 years. Wow. So this new termite story really exemplifies why we care about diversity. So scientists manipulated levels of termites and the experiment coincided with drought. And what we learned is that termites maintained water and nutrients in the soil and actually allowed plants to survive, the whole food chain to survive. So this is why we care about biodiversity. You lose one important species, it can affect the entire yeah, ecosystem. Merritt, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Appreciate it, have a great week. Thank you. All right, now it's over to